Hi guys, my name's Meredith and I'm so glad you're here with me today. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this look right here. This is my favorite holiday look. It's super great for Thanksgiving, Christmas, any holiday party I have coming up this year. And I hope it's helpful to you. I give you tips on how to keep it simple, but also how to glam it up for more of a party look. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look right here, keep on watching. First up, I'm going to start with my primer. Um, this is Becca's First Light Priming Filter. I love this. It's super hydrating um, and just kind of like really preps my skin. Um, it's like the most beautiful purple color. I love it. So I just take this. Oh, it's so cold. It feels so good. It leaves my skin so soft and moisturized. The foundation I'm going to be using today is Smashbox Studio Skin. This is probably one of the best foundations um, I've ever worn in my life. It's 15 hour wear, super hydrating, but doesn't look greasy on the skin, which is a must. So I'm gonna take this and I just squirt it right on to my skin. I do two pumps and that is plenty for my face. So what I do from this point is I usually just take it and I like distribute it where I want it just like this. I do not use my fingers for the whole thing. I just like to distribute it kind of in the areas that I'm going to need it. And then I go in with my beauty blender. This is actually a blending sponge from Morphe. I really like this one even better than I like my beauty blender. So I'm just going to go in and just tap this in. I personally like this foundation better with a blending sponge than I do a brush. Um, you're welcome to use a brush with it, just in my personal opinion. I think it looks better with a sponge, but whatever works best for you. All right, next up, I'm going to be using some concealer to brighten and conceal because bags these days, honey, it's a mess. So I'm going to be using um, this the Tarte Shape Tape today. I love this concealer. I'm using the shade 20B Light. I'm not big on super bright under eyes. If you are, I totally recommend going a shade or two um, beneath your skin color. I don't like to be super light under my eyes. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just pat that in. This concealer does really well if you like to use a brush to blend in your concealer it that works really well with this too i just prefer a sponge if i've already used a sponge and i'm just taking that on my eyelids as well just to kind of prime them and get them ready for my eyeshadow bouncing that along and i'll take that on my nose as well so you can already tell that's brightened up my under eyes a ton um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Cody Air Spun Powder. Um, I have this in Translucent Extra Coverage. I really like this powder. It does smell like my grandma's house, which my grandma's house smells wonderful. But it just has that certain perfumey smell. And if you don't like that, then I don't know what to tell you. The Laura Mercier Setting Powder does not have that smell, so you're welcome to use that, but I really, really enjoyed this powder, so this is what I tend to pull towards. So I'm just gonna bake underneath my eyes, just tapping that in really well. It's just gonna help a lot with the fine lines and with it wearing off throughout the day. So I like to take this just underneath the eyes right here. That's about the only place I take it and the only place I really need good coverage and I want to look very matte. I love a good glowy look, but you really don't want to look glowy all over and especially underneath the eyes. It's really going to draw attention to up here instead of down here. Sometimes if I don't cover this purple darkness underneath my eyes, it can make me look really, really dead. So 
If you have that problem too, work on just concealing underneath your eyes and that can help a ton. While that bakes, I'm gonna take a Real Techniques brush. This is just their powder brush. I love it. It's puffy, fluffy, and works great for me. So I'm gonna take just a little bit more of that Cody Airspun powder and just kind of tap it in the lid. And I'm just gonna kind of bounce that it's gonna look really good in pictures too and bronze while this bakes as well so what I'm gonna do today for bronzer is I have this physicians formula bronzer booster which I think works really well especially in the winter time when I don't want something super dark um, and I don't tend to contour very much I like a more natural look to my contour and bronzer so I tend to just use a good bronzer and kind of go in and make those lines and then blend them out with the same product and it seems to work well for me and I like to to find my cheekbone because I don't have very prominent cheekbones I'm gonna take right here let me scoot up so you can see right where my ear starts up here and I'm gonna pull and you can just kind of see how it kind of hollows out that spot there and kind of shows me where my cheekbone is and I'm just doing circulations from where that line is upward. You don't want to drag it down. That's going to pull your face down. But just small circular motions really helps to blend. The biggest part of doing makeup to me is blending. If you have trouble with getting your things to look very flawless and blended, you're honestly probably just not spending very much time blending, which is what takes the longest and all those youtube tutorials they show you they cut out all the blending time i promise you okay so i just go like this i'm gonna pull all my hair back and i'm just gonna start right here on my temples and just kind of bring it up my forehead a little bit just because my foundation color is pretty light i want to make sure i'm getting some color on my face and then again just going back down this hairline kind of just going in that three mark that one two and then you kind of just want to bring it on that jawline as well okay so let's just take a look at how much better this side of my face looks than this side of my face so bronzer goes a long way if you're not bronzing honey please bronzer is a lifesaver now i'm going to do my nose which i'm not super particular about my nose contour but i do like to use just the side of my contour brush here and I just start here kind of just focusing on this curvature between my eyebrow and the tip of my nose and I kind of like pull my nose in which makes a really silly face but I kind of pull it in so that I can see this slim line on the top and I just kind of lightly lightly brush down the bridge of my nose just on the side to add some good contour so we just don't want to have a big white nose. I'm not going to look cute. So I'm going to do that to the other side. Under eyes have set for long enough. So I'm going to take my powder brush and just dust off any excess powder that could be underneath my eye. This hair is really wild today, guys. You can just tell how smooth everything looks underneath my eyes. So. Believe me, that makes a big difference in the long run. I promise you. I'm going to do some blush. This is by Buxom. I really, really love this blush. This is in Wonderland. All of the products I'm using today, I will link below for you. And you can shop everything. But this blush is very pigmented. A little tiny bit goes a long way. I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush. I'm serious, y'all. That's probably too much already. This stuff is pigmented. I just start kind of swiping downward and I smile while I do this. And I do kind of take it up the cheek just a touch to blend it in with my bronzer. That looks good. See? More color. Not a lot of color. Again, just slowly building up color. Just keeping it right on the apples. So far, looking good. Looks a little more intense on camera, but that's just life. So I'm going to go back in with my powder brush and I'm going to take this and just blend upwards just to make sure everything is super blended. Blending will never ever be a bad idea. So far, so good. Next, 
we're gonna do some eyebrows. I'm probably gonna speed through this part, TBH. I'm just gonna do that off camera and be right back. Okay, I'm back. And brows are done. Ba bam, ba bam. I'm gonna do a video soon on eyebrows. So we will get to that. Today, we're working on a holiday look. So I have this concealer on my eyelids, so I'm just gonna go back in with the clean side of my sponge. Just to blend that in again. And I'm gonna set it with powder, and then we're gonna get started. Now, if you're worried about getting eyeshadow everywhere, you're welcome to do your eyes first. For me personally, I don't like to do that unless I'm using black, which we will not be using black today because I'm just not out here trying to do that to myself today. I'm gonna take, hold on. This brush take. First off, let me just show you this palette. Ooh, honey. She cute. She is all kinds of cute. So we're gonna be using that today. I might even pull out another Morphe palette it is the bronzed babe palette okay she is cute too let's just dive right in I have my foundation brush I'm gonna go in with where'd it go? my Cody airspun powder I'm just gonna get a little bit on here pat that in so it just gives me a good blending base just kind of patting this on my eyelids okay we are gonna go in with my It Cosmetics Blending Concealer Brush. Here's my story. This is my favorite brush on the planet. This is a 203 Blending Concealer Brush. They have a blending shadow brush that's very similar, but she's not as good, hands down. This one is just, she's fluffy and everything just blends perfectly. I have a large distance between my lash line and my eyebrow. This works really well. If you have tiny eyelid space, then maybe a smaller brush is going to be better for you. First up, I'm going to go in. I wish I still had the little list with all the names of the shadows. No. I'm going to take this top one right here. I want to start super neutral and then build up color. So I get a little bit on a brush. And then I'm just gonna take that right in here through the crease. Wanna talk about mascara face? Talk about eyeshadow face, I'm like, not cute. I'm gonna go back in with that color and just build it up until I've gotten a good base for my blending. Like I said, this takes a minute. Be patient. Hold my eyelid kinda taut, so I just, just gently hold this. Not pulling very much, just kind of holding it steady until I've built up the color that I want. See, I make a ton of cute faces. Next, in with this right here. It's a good chocolatey brown. It's beautiful. You're gonna love it, I promise. I use the same brush for all of my fluffy blending colors. I like my fluffy brush, hate me. I go back in and just kind of going on this outer V and kind of fluffing that out. So kind of just taking that here and then fluffing it out. See how nice that looks, see? And this is like something simple, just these two shades and you could stop here, add some eyeliner and bam, you're done. I'm gonna go in and just keep adding until I'm happy with the color to get that Flawless blended look, you have to be patient. Just going in, there's not really any product left on my brush. I'm just kind of blending everything out. Take your time. How many times should I say it? Okay, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more. I know, we've dipped many times. Blending, blending, blending. We've gotten good blending shade up here, but we've kind of just darkened up this crease and you can tell we haven't done anything to this side. So we gotta get working. You could stop here and she would be looking great. Add some eyeliner. You could even do fake lashes and would look super glam. I'm gonna darken it up just a smidgen because I think that's what I wanna do. And makeup is all about doing what you wanna do because makeup is an art. 
Art has no rules. I'm gonna use Road Trip by Morphe. It's a small blending brush by Morphe. And I'm just gonna take it on this outer edge here. Just kind of building up some intensity. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. Now we're gonna blend that out. But honey, she looks good. Just kind of taking this and kind of starting to blend right on this outer edge. Now that we've kind of taken most of the product off of the brush. I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush. And I'm just gonna work on that outer line up in here. Mm. Can y'all see that? I'm a psycho, I wanna go darker. A little more road trip right here, just again. Just gonna kinda build up some more intensity on this outer V here. That's the beauty with this look, is you could leave it or you can add. If you need something a little more glam, you know you can just add a little bit more shadow or you can leave it and keep it really simple. Just adding more and then blending it out. Adding more and blending it out. That is how you're gonna get that super flawless blend. Feeling sassy today. This look is giving me good vibes. Blending game, done. You could add some more matte shadow on the top here, just in this inner corner to about one fourth, one third of the way through, or you could add a really pretty shimmer. I'm gonna add some shimmer because the holidays are all about magic. Magic to me is shimmer. I'm going to add this really pretty shimmer from that little Morphe palette I was telling you about. And this one's called Sunny's. Um, look at that. I know, I know, I know. What I'm going to do is I take these on my finger. I feel like you get the best payout, but you could definitely, if you want intensity, put some concealer right here and then pack this puppy right on top. I like simple shimmers. So I'm just going to add it right on here. Shimmer just really adds a little pop and pizzazz to your look. See how that just like opens your eyes up too? Let's work on this lower lash line. I'm going to use this domed shadow brush by Morphe. It's really cute and tiny. And I use it for most of my dark shades. I'm gonna go in with this first brown color that we used. This one right here. Start right on this outer, outer V. And I'm gonna pull that towards the center. And I'm not gonna go all the way in. That's probably about three fourths of the way in. And again on the other side. I'm gonna go in with Road Trip again. Just to add some warmth underneath there. And I'm just going to take that about one fourth of the way in. So that's looking good to me. I'm going to go in with this bigger blending brush by Morphe. And again, just kind of blending that out and together and fluffing that out. Oh, that looks great. I go back into Sunny's and I'm going to take this right on this inner corners just to add some brightness to the eyes. I love the way this looks. Just as the light catches up. Oh, looks gorgeous i am going to add liner to this look i like to curl my lashes first and then go into adding liner because i don't like curling my lashes on top of eyeliner i'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes when in doubt keep curling you can already tell that like really pulls it together and i haven't even put mascara on curl 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 Boom, lashes curled. So now I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. I use the NYX Professional. This is the eyeliner pencil in black. I take this, kind of just tug, and I'm just gonna take this just on my lash line. And if you like liquid, you could certainly do liquid liner. I'm just not a big liquid liner fan unless I'm wearing falsies, which you could certainly wear falsies with this look and it would look poppin' honey. You would look so good. And, and I'll just casually add some more. Build this up as thick as I want. 
and I'm only going about three fourths of the way in. I don't like to go down. I like this to be really bright and then kind of intense towards this side. Um, that is just my preference. You're welcome to go all the way in, but for this look, we'll be going three fourths of the way in just to really make sure we're keeping that outer, outer V being the dramatic part. I just keep going until I feel like it's even. You can just tell that kind of intensified the look a lot. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take it just on my waterline. Just like three fourths of the way in. Mmm. See how much that just draws that in and it really makes the whites of your eyes look more intense. Yes, that looks great. Waterline is the best place to put eyeliner when you just wanna intensify a look. Now I'm gonna add mascara. This is what I'm gonna be using today. Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. I love it. It has this tiny little, tiny, tiny little brush. And it works so well to just get all of my lashes. So I'm just gonna go in. And I'm the worst because I always get it all over my eyeshadow. So I always try to like, bend back like this to try not to get it on there, but it's impossible. But I have a trick for that, I promise. I like to do a couple of coats. I'm just gonna go in with... Okay, so there's just one coat. And then go to this eye. Okay, as you can tell, that really helped the look. Um, some mascara for sure. Okay, gonna let that dry and then I'll add some more. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. Like I said, I'm the worst about getting it all over my eyeshadow, but I have a trick to get it off, so no harm, no foul. Let's talk lips, because mine are looking we need to add some lips to this look. I'm gonna try and say this right, y'all, but Maracuja, I think is what these are called. Maracuja, I'm not gonna try and embarrass myself. So, they're linked down below. You're welcome to go purchase them. These are by Tarte and they're only sold online, which is why you've never seen them in store, but they're my favorite lip products. Um, the two I have with me right now are Rosé and Hibiscus. Beautiful. I'm gonna do Rosé. It's more sheer. This is what they look like. The best way to try and describe them to you is they're a mix between a chapstick and a lip gloss, but they are not sticky. You click this bottom part and it comes out the top and they're so, so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love this color. I wear this one just about every day and it pulls every look together. Okay, I'm gonna go work some magic, get the mascara off my eyelids, do my hair, and I'll be right back, okay? And we're done. This is the holiday look finished for you. It's beautiful, soft glam, and you can definitely tease this up and get is something even more bold and something even more that screams a little party um, or you can leave it super simple leaving out the eyeliner or leaving out the darker shades that we used to achieve something a little more soft but this is our final look i'm really happy with the way it turned out i finished it up with this morphe luminous setting spray just to add good hydration and makes my skin glow so i hope you enjoyed my video and if you did, if you would just make sure to like and subscribe for more. Um, and I will be posting a new video every single week. So stay tuned. Bye, guys.